Okay, good. Oh, Gladys is here. Hi, Gladys. How are you today? Hi, good night. Oh, good evening. How are you? Good. Hi, thank you. Okay, fine. So then we have Mariela, Ite, Elena, Alex, Yes. Diego, Jose Luis, and Ana. Okay. So then, uh, do you uh, do you remember the, the words, right? I have the ones we were talking about. What were the sequ the sequence words that we had? The first. Uh huh. Then after finally. Next. Okay. Uh -huh, next. Uh, next. Okay. After that and finally. And finally, right? So which is the first one? First, right? And the last one? Finally. And the ones that go in the middle. Next, after that, and then, right? Uh, obviously, the first is, is first, right? It's at the beginning. Final is at the end. And the other three words, they don't have a, a specific rule, right? Uh, or, or position. After first, we have to use then or, or, uh, or after that, okay? So you can use the three words, next, uh, in different orders, right? This is just for for us to continue given the sequence of events, right? But obviously we begin with the uh, number one, which is the first. Okay, good. Yes, first, then after that, next and finally. Yes, Diego, thank you. Okay, good. So then now that you remember that, also, we were talking about food yesterday, right? How to prepare some some special dishes, some snacks, okay? But this sequence work can also be used uh, with other, let's say, the, with other events, right? Like, for example, how to, how to use a computer, okay? How to use a... Um, uh, uh, let's say a photocopier machine, how to use a cell phone. Okay, so in all these uh, events, if you are going to explain somebody how to use one of these uh, devices, obviously you can use the sequence adverbs, right? Uh, for example, uh, do you know how to use a, a laptop? Okay, what is the first step? That we should follow. First one, you have to, to turn on the computer. The first one is turn, turn on, on the, the laptop. Okay. Open. Uh, open the laptop. Okay, open it right. Yes. Then turn if, on. So, so you have to suppose and, and imagine that the person. I can introduce my password. Uh huh, and then the, the, you don't. The person doesn't know anything, right? So first, open the the computer, the computer, the laptop. Then turn on. Uh huh. No. Push. Uh huh. Push the on button or turn on the turn on the computer. Okay. Next. Wait. To, wait to wait to, to, to wait. Uh -huh, wait until the computer loads the program. Load the system. Uh -huh, loads the system. Okay. Yes. Then. Uh, Open the Mariela, program. Mariela, you said something there that in some cases is important. Yes. Uh -huh, just what did you say? Uh, next, I introduce the password. Introduce the password, right? In some cases, right? In some cases, it's necessary. In some cases, it's not. Right? Depend okay. on how how you have protected the the computer. Okay. And. El que nada debe nada teme. I don't have a password. <laughs> okay. And after that? <laughs> That's true. password in my computer and neither in my cell phone. I use the password in my cell phone, in my computer, in all. 
yeah. things. <laughs> this, this is good. You know, it's good to be safe. It's good to be on the safe side, right? You know. Yes. You, you never know. You never know, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Of course. <laughs> what else? What is another one? Open the program. Then, okay, uh, look for or search for the program that you are going to use. Okay. And finally, no, well, and after, a click, okay, or double click on the program to open it. And finally, write a, write a, a text. Uh -huh. Work uh, or do what you are going to do. Okay, so you see these are the steps, okay, on how to use a laptop, right? The, the easiest way, right? You know, first open the laptop, then, if, and if you see, for example, we have first open the laptop, then turn on, turn it on. After that, uh, wait until it loads all the system. After the uh, next, uh, introduce the password. And after, or you can use after instead of after that if you don't want to repeat after that. Uh, after, a uh, uh, look for the program, search for the program that you need, okay? Then click on the program and open it. And finally, start working on that program. So we have seven steps, right? So it doesn't matter if you, if you use next, then, or after that, more than one time, okay? So it's not a, it's not a big deal, okay? Good. Okay. Yes. Then, uh, uh, what else can we can we use? One more example, and after that, you can we can uh, we can do it individually. Okay. But one more, one more. About what? A step to 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 uh, ride a horse. No. <laughs> Oh, that's Anna, the expert. She will tell us. She will tell us. Uh -huh, do you have... I don't know. The instant they start. No. What? Depends. The cell phone. Okay. How to uh, use a cell phone. Okay. How, uh -huh. to, how to turn on. Uh -huh. Okay. How sorry. Turn on. Turn on you, we have to, to turn on the cell phone. Okay. And uh, I. Well, try a uh, uh, way to to load the the, the system. Uh, after that, uh, uh, write the 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 password. Okay, or use your fingerprint. Uh, or with the 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 el, el, la cámara la el the, the camera uh -huh. with, uh, face recognition. Mm -hmm. Face recognition. And finally, uh, open the the, uh, the the program of the cell phone. Okay. Okay, that's how to use a cell phone, right? Yeah. Anna, Anna what are the steps to ride a horse? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I in way, in talking way. about the old example in the uh -huh. day, but I try to explain. Okay. Uh, no, if you have another one, say another. Yes. For example, for me, the sequence albers are used for all things you do. Mm -hmm. For example, when are you looking for a job and I have okay. an interview, the first step, check the day and out of your interview, mm -hmm. uh, then make a resource and have a copy of all your documents do you need for uh, checking that interview. Okay. Next, you wear formal clothes and keep up the calm all the time. Mm, after that, you have to be 15 minutes before the time of your interview. And uh, finally, the, you should be relaxed and Self assured to answer the question that the human resource will you ask you? Will ask you, right? Yes, you have to be 
uh, self-confident, right? Yes. Self-confident of the answers that you are giving to the person from human resources. Yes. Okay, those are nice, nice uh, tips, you know, for, uh, let's say, uh, when you're looking for a job, okay? And this is uh, to how to organize your interview, and that way you feel, when you are well organized for an interview, you feel more comfortable, right? Yes, but, but the have... most important things mm -hmm. is that I told you, I told, I, I told, I because told you, no? the, the first step for me is check the old and day for the interview. And I need to more step, but the most important is uh, that step I told. Yes, and not to be, uh, let's say, uh, not to be afraid, right? Not to be nervous, not to be shy, nervous. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and not to be late. Not to be late. Exactly. No. <laughs> Ever. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Anybody You're welcome. else? Uh, Ada. Mm, me, teacher. Yes. Tell us about. Um, okay. Um. Sometimes I put makeup. Um, I love I love makeup, okay. but and I told you I, I told you about about this. Okay. Um, the first um I make my eyebrow. Okay. And the first mm -hmm. I brush and makeup my eyebrow and then i make do no i make um my eyes and i put natural eyeshadow mm -hmm. and a little eyeliner and mascara okay after I make my face. I put base and face powder and blush. Okay. And finally, I I make my lips and I put the glass, natural glass, and ready. I'm ready to go. Okay, good. Yes. All right. <laughs> Okay, um, and then I just have a question about makeup. When you make up your, your face and everything? <laughs> uh, um, sometimes. I mean, but no, but, yeah, but I mean, is, uh, I have a just uh, in, for example, you do it every day. No. Nowadays, nowadays, okay. sometimes. Now and then, uh, now and then. Now so. and then, because in this moment, I don't work. Mm -hmm. When I was work, yes, mm -hmm. every day. Wow. Yes. But in this moment, no. But for me, no, it's necessary mm -hmm. because I, I, I am in my house. Yes, in this moment, it's obvious, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, the mm -hmm. other, the other problem is with, I don't know, mascarilla. With the mask, uh -huh. the with the, the mask, sur the surgical mask, uh huh. Is is a a little in, inconvenient, uncomfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. 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 Mm -hmm. It's a little uncomfortable, okay. but in but when I when I I have a I have a a event, a event or something. Mm -hmm. I put makeup. You put on makeup. I, have, I have a question for women. Uh -huh. Why they why they make gestures when they are making up? Why do they? Why do why? they make faces? They make gestures when her when in, in their faces because muecas. Yes, faces. Uh -huh. They make they make faces. When I put my makeup, when I put my makeup, yeah. mm -hmm. and because it's necessary, but 
de, de make-up um, quede bien? I mean, it's, it's, you, when, to put it in all the, in all the places, right? I think, ah, yes. it's, it's, I think it's similar, it's similar, it's similar when men are shaving, right? Ah, yes, it's uh, true. So you have to go like this, and then you have to go like that, and then, you know, uh -huh. that's because you want to shave everything. Uh, and it has to be neat, right? Yes, to yes. Leave, it's to true. Leave it neat, uh -huh. To leave it neat, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mara. Thank you okay, very much teach. for instructi okay. instructing us. On, on women's <laughs> makeup. Thank you. Okay, uh, okay. what about uh, Gladys? What do you want to share? What? Do you want to share an experience, something that you know? Um, I don't understand. For example, uh, do you have anything to that you would like to explain step by step how to do something? <laughs> For example, uh, how to, I don't know, how to make an egg, uh, how, to, how to learn English, or how to study, for example. Um, what do you do to study English? Uh, <laughs> what are the steps? I, I, I prefer um, uh, the sequence. First, uh -huh. I prepare. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I read. Then uh, I read. How, uh -huh. how, how do you use, how do you use, how do you, do you use the mixer? Uh, uh, okay, all right, the mixer. Uh -huh. First, take take out, out of the box. Okay. Then then clean blades. Clean the blades. Uh -huh. uh huh. After that, introduce introduce a clean blade in the mixer. Okay. Next, connect the mixer on the plug. Mm -hmm. Finally, shade the the ingredients. Okay. Excellent. Right. You see, you are not zero. Okay, <laughs> yes, this is how to use the mixer when you are going to prepare the food, right? Important, guys, not to clean the blade and then and to use to clean the, the blade that you're going to use, put it on, plug it, and then put the food and mix it. Easy, right? Okay, okay, thank you, Gladys. All right, anybody else? Elena, Aide, Mariela, me teacher. Okay, Elena, go ahead. I will share you uh, with you a uh, receipt about how to prepare crepes. Okay, good. Uh, I made crepes with a um, flour of pancakes. Mm -hmm. So the ingredients are flour of pancakes, some oil, and toppings, chocolate, banana, or whatever you want. Wow. First, uh, you mix the flour and then you put the pan with oil to to hot next put some mixed flour in the pan wait until it cooks and stores stores it uh, after put the toppings and finally you serve it's easy <laughs> it's very easy yes well, the problem is, you know, but how long does it take you, uh, Elena? How much time? Mm, to make one crepe, probably uh, five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Not too much. Not too much. Yeah. Okay, and one crepe is, let's say, uh, enough for one person. Yeah, for, oh. one, for one person. Okay, and this one also can be with different flavors, right? With, yeah. Uh, meat or other, because there are ones that are sweet and there are some others that you can make with uh, salty, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Good. Okay. All right. Anybody else? ID? ID or? Me, teacher. Okay, ID. Go ahead. Um, I told you about the post. Quaker. Okay. 
the first boiled water with cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, yes. Then, then uh, su sugar and milk power. Next, mix all ingredients and after that, wait for it to cool and finally you can eat a delicious quaker. Okay, good, oat quaker. And uh, what else, the lecture, um, uh, that's, how long does it take, the time? To prepare one? What? How much time, how, how long? How much time? How do long? You, uh -huh, how much time do you need to prepare? that um it depends the how much you you make okay. but i in my case um it is the five at ten minutes okay good five to ten minutes yeah it's not so much right it's easy and fast okay good mariela well, in my case, I show you how do you see the score in the website. Ah, okay, good. Yes, in my case, when I, when I need to see my score in the website at university, obviously, the first research the page, or okay. virtual. <clears throat> and then the page appears. After that, the, I, only, I only introduce my email and password. And next, I only look for an option score because they have a lot of options. Okay. And pencil and score and information okay. about the university. At the end, on, on finally, I can see that they score All right. in the website. And, uh, and if you have a doubt about your score, what do you do? Can you, uh, yes. can you send an, um, a message on the, the same website? Well, if, when I have a problem or dub in my score, I only have an option and you can uh, send the messages okay. about the score. All right, very good. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Jose Luis. Jose Luis, are you there? Oh yeah, I'm here, sorry. Okay. Tell us, what is your... I don't know. What are you going to talk about? Maybe how to make one uh, a good sandwich. Okay, good. I don't know. I'm hungry <laughs> now. <laughs> First, pick up the good bread. Okay. Uh, then put a uh, lettuce. After that, put a uh, uh, good ham, mayonnaise, and hey, mayonnaise. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and finally, uh, to to eat. Yes, and finally eat it. Yeah, okay, it, very good. Yes, just simple, right? Lettuce, yeah, ham, mayonnaise, ham, mayonnaise butter, butter, lettuce, and that's it. Yeah, okay, very good. Yeah, quite simple, you know, practical man. Very good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the way we that's the way men eat, right? You know, like yeah, Rambo style, right? Doesn't matter, no, not too well cooked. Okay, good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, guys. So, again, that's, uh, I think is the, you have an idea on how to do things, uh, how to give explanation. And, you know, like uh, Anna said, right, it can be, for example, you can ask uh, Fair, for example, if you want to travel, he has experience on traveling. He can give you, you know, probably a step-by-step -step guide, right, how to to travel or or what to do before traveling, right? So probably there could be more than ten steps, right? You know, like for example, first check the destinies that you want to visit. The, the, the I don't know the money that if you have the money or uh, where to buy. You know, where if you don't have money, you have to sell your things. Uh -huh, exactly right. And then if you don't have money, start asking for a loan to the bank or start selling your car, I don't know. Okay, what happens in, in case you, when you are in the, in, on your vacation or in your travel, what happens if you, if you lose your passport 
what to do. Okay, or here, if you want to get your passport, what are the steps to follow, right? So then if you go to these institutions, they have all the steps, right, that you have to follow. You know, like the protocols now, if you want to go out, then you know, for example, you need to wear the sur surgical mask, okay, you have to uh, carry all the time, you know, the, uh, I don't know, to drive and not to touch people, and then all that, all those things that we have to do. Okay, let's see uh, what we have. Next, we have to answer the knowledge check, right? Here we have the first one. Okay, and Per, can you read the first question? The first question, which snack does this recipe describe? When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. Okay, what are they talking about? Popcorn. 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 Okay. The are the, the grains. Yes, exactly. Huh? Yes. Every every single uh, grain, they call it kernel. Okay. Uh, Mariela, what about number two? It's okay. Um, what what is the last last step in making guacamole dip? Finally, and the first one, finally add a little salt and paper and hot sauce. Okay, pepper the and second, hot sauce. The second one, next add cilantro. How do you pronounce this cilantro. one? Cilantro, yes, cilantro. Cilantro, mm -hmm. ah, it's okay. And the last, the last one, after that, chop, chop alpha tomato, tomato. Okay, which one is the answer? Final. The first one, right? First one. Final. Final. Okay, thank you. Diego, number three. Yes, what is the first step in making a toast bagel? Okay. Number one, first spread cream cheese before serving. Number two, first cut, cut, cut it in, uh, in half. So, uh, number three, first toast it. Uh, number two, first cut, yeah, no, in making, no. Give me a second, please. Uh, okay. I think the third. The third one. The second. The second. second. The second. It is second one. The second. Second? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Uh, Anna, what about number four? Okay. We second, sequency Albert are not interchanged. Interchangeable. Okay. But the first and finally. Mm -hmm. Okay. So which this one and this one, right? Yes. First and final. Then the other ones are interchangeable. Okay. Now let's see our answers. Okay. Yes. First and finally, they are they are not interchangeable. Yes. First thing you do with the bagel is to cut it in half, then toast it, and then uh, finally first spread, they say spread, spread cream cheese before serving. And then number two, what is the last step in making guacamole? It's finally add a little salt, pepper, and hot sauce. And the first one was popcorn. Okay. So this is the, the closing of this idea, right? Questions in, uh, in this moment? No question. No. Questions, no. okay. No. Just, if you see, for example, one of the things that are very important in this kind of uh, lesson or probably no uh, topics is to, to use, for example, the, uh, the use of vocabulary, right? In uh, food, when you need, uh, what you have to prepare here is the, the, the vocabulary before, before expressing your ideas, right? So that's why, you know, the, if you see the, the practice that we had at the beginning, I wanted to do it in that way individually and everybody uh, speaking because this is the, the only way to, 
you know, to prepare and to remember vocabulary is using it, right? So because if you have to prepare something, then you have to how to say this, how do I say that? And then uh, you have to do some, some previous research in order to express yourself, right? And here in the class, you, when you are speaking, it's a way to put it in practice with the pronunciation, the correct order, right? And sometimes, uh, probably to find out if you are using the proper vocabulary, right? Because sometimes in English, probably they say things in one way, and then in Spanish, probably we use a different word, right? Okay, so that's why, you know, the practice is important. Okay, that's the end of unit, um, of the, sorry, the, the section four, right? Now we're going to introduce section five. Okay. This is the last section. Okay, here we're gonna have a little more practice. Okay, here, let me see. Ada, can you please read the objective of this okay, teacher. section? The future tense is what we use to discuss our plants and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English teach joy science explains these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using simple using a simple formula ask and answer question using going to and will as actually verbs and practice discussing your future plans for example an upcoming vacation holidays with family or even your plans for later in the in the in the day Okay, very good. Now, questions here. You see, for example, what are we going to be using? Okay, first, uh, to discuss plans and hopes. Okay, the future. And then we're going to use going to and we will, right? And, for example, what is the difference? Okay, the different way to talk about future plans is step by step. Because going to and will, there are some differences, right? When to use it, okay? And we, and when we don't use it. I mean, when we are using it incorrectly, for example. Okay, look. Okay, just let me check the sound. Computer. There we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. 
That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present the structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're gonna, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't ask my boss whether I can go or not and so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on then we're gonna use this expression I guess I'll just um, stay home Th these are the examples here in the book but um, going back to our example about vacations I guess I'll travel but I'm not sure where uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend okay that's what I want to express um, and so in order for us to form that idea I'm gonna have some sort of subject this is gonna follow the verb to be and then this is gonna follow going to if you notice going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future and then this is gonna follow the verb in its present form and then whatever complements so like in this case I'm gonna stay home for the weekend Right. So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well. The expressions such as I guess, all right? The expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, and the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm gonna stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is gonna follow a subject. I will. watch 
the football game all right and so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned these are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on maybe I'll watch the football game I think I'll watch the football game I probably will watch the football game now um, with this last one here I would like for you to pay attention to that one um, this is not gonna follow the subject okay uh, it will just continue to follow I probably will watch the football game but for the rest you will need that subject there in the middle okay I guess I'll watch the football game maybe I'll watch the football game I think I'll watch the football game but however with this one you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle I probably will watch the football game the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class so you may use these questions to help you with this exercise how are you gonna spend your next vacation where are you gonna go when are you gonna take your next vacation how long are you gonna be on vacation now if you look at let's say the second question where are you gonna go you might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go and then again you might not so if you're sure about it then you're going to use the expressions towards the left you're going to use be going to plus um, you know whatever complement that exists so you're going to use I'm going to go to Europe all right that could be a um, your plan but if you don't know you haven't decided on I'm not sure of where I'm gonna go I guess I'll travel but I don't know where and so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart to take your vacation and you might recomplement that exists so I'm gonna go to Europe all right that could okay guys Okay, any questions? What did you what what did you get? You know, what is the is there a difference between going to and will? Is the difference yeah. I, yes? I think when you use the going to is when I on a specific plane. Mm -hmm. And when you when use will is when you don't decide it that which is the plans do you have okay good what else anybody else who wants to add something else that uh, to what Anna said uh -huh. when, you, when you use going to is when you are when you have a plan and you are sure that it's going to to be real mm -hmm. and when you you are going to use will when you ability. when you don't know if if the plan is going to be realized or not so maybe it's a, a possibility okay good what else what else any other thing that you detected or something that is not clear yet Okay, for example, the, what about when you use a uh, probably, I think, maybe, I guess, I'm not sure. Okay, so these are other adverbs also that you can use when we use will, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there are four different ways, right, to, to speak about the future, okay? I will give you the other two tomorrow, okay? Uh, so that you can uh, that you can have the whole picture complete. The other two are not in this uh, in this platform. They are not in the forum. But I'm going to give you that uh, extra information because I think it's important that that you can see the differences, right? 
when we use the, the future. For example, the uh, when you're just going to, like you said, definitely, you know, when we have plans, right? Remember that plans in the future are always uncertain, right? We never know, right? I have a plan, for example, I'm going to, for example, I'm going to travel to Mexico in October, okay? That's my plan, okay? But nowadays, you don't know, and if, uh, if that's gonna happen because, uh, you know, with this uh, pandemic issue that we have, what if they close the, the, the airports again, right? So then probably my trip or my plan that I had uh, for the month of October probably is not going to happen, okay? But my plan is I'm going to go to Mexico in October, okay? Then uh, another thing that you can use another uh, let's say uh, in moment probably or event in which you can use going to is when we want to predict, okay? Or when you want uh, when you have to when you can see that something is coming, okay? For example, what happens if you go outside the house on a sunny day? But suddenly, everything is dark. The sun disappears, and you see many, many clouds dark, okay? And a lot of wind blowing, right? And then you, and then you feel some, uh, uh, some raindrops in your, on your head, okay? Then uh, what can you predict? A rainy day. Uh -huh, but how do you say that? Okay. I'm going to be wet when. Uh -huh, it's when going. I'm then you say it's going to rain, right? Mm -hmm. First, the first thing that you say, okay, it's going to rain, right? I'm going to get wet if I stay here. Yeah. Okay. So these are two predictions that you can because unless you have an umbrella, right? Okay, or unless you are near your house. And then you can say, okay, no, but yes, I'm going to get wet. I better get in. Or suppose you are in the garden with your friends, having, you know, uh, food, eating something, talking. But then you see that the clouds are very dark. And you feel the raindrops. And they say, okay, guys, let's go into the house because it's going to rain. Right? In that moment, you, you can predict. And probably you take everything into the house and the rain here in Salvador you know, suddenly that you see the clouds and they suddenly disappear, right? So then yeah. probably, probably it won't rain, but in the moment, you can see that. Okay, uh, for example, the, another thing that you can predict is if a person is chatting, okay, in the cell phone and driving at the, at the same time, what can we predict? Maybe... He or she is going to to have an accident. Okay, yes. Okay, if you're doing that, you're going to have an accident, right? So don't chat while you're driving. Okay, so this is another another uh, moment in which you can use going. Okay, so then, uh, and what are things, for example, let's see, uh, let's go back here. Okay, now let's talk about your your personal issues, right? For example, what are some plans that you have? What are some things that are going to happen? Or some plans that you have, okay? For example, tomorrow, uh, let's say I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bring two other ways to express the future, okay? I will teach you two other ways to express the future. That's my plan for tomorrow, okay? What else? What is a plan that you have? For tomorrow, for mm -hmm. tomorrow. For example, I'm going to call, tomorrow I'm going to call my mother. Tomorrow I'm going to, I don't know, to go to the- to Oh, home. by the way, teacher, happy, happy Father's Day, by the way. Okay, thank you very much, okay. All right, no fathers here. Huh? Probably the fathers are not here at this moment. 
Okay, Diego, are you a father? Not yet. No, no. <laughs> no okay, don't, don't, don't be scared. Don't be scared, right? It doesn't hurt. I am. <laughs> oh, Jose Luis is here, right? Yeah, yeah, I am father for two little girls. Oh, okay, very good. Congratulations yeah. to them. Okay. <laughs> All right, yes. The rest of the, of the parents or fathers disappeared today. They are celebrating. It's good. Okay. Okay, Anna, any plans that you have? Oh, for tomorrow? Okay. Oh, yes, um, for any day, for next year. Okay. Um, I'm going to the supermarket because okay. I need to will buy the food and fruit and after that or oh, in the afternoon i'm going to check my platform because okay. i will uh, do the exercise okay. and uh, that plans yeah. for the moment is only that for okay, tomorrow the plan for tomorrow right we're going to yes. go to the supermarket because you need fruit and food and then uh, you are going to check and do the exercises on the platform tomorrow Okay, good. What else? Anybody else? I probably, uh -huh. I probably, I probably will watch the Premier League tomorrow. Is there a game tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, today there was a soccer game, right? Juventus versus mm -hmm. yeah. tomorrow. Uh, I will going to to watch the the match with the Real Madrid. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. What time? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, 1 p.m. I think. 1 p.m. Uh, who who is Real Madrid playing with? Against Valencia. Oh, yeah. Valencia. Not going to be a good match, maybe, right? Yeah. Okay. But only in, in in Skype. Ah, okay, good. Well, you know, probably you no know, Facebook, maybe also they. Yeah. You can you can watch it. Okay. Yes. What else? What else? Girls, ladies, going to. What are you going well, to do? In my case, I probably am going to cook with my mother because my mother and I like to cook. Okay. When I when we have when we have time. Okay, good. And obviously, I I need that. No, it's okay. Uh, just remember when we say going to, it's because we already have a plan, right? Okay. Then, uh, and, also, and also, let me uh, now that I remember. Also, when you use will, for example, the is uh, when we decide things at the moment of the speaking. Okay. Suppose okay. that in this moment, uh, if I say, uh, you know what, I will, I will prepare a presentation for tomorrow. Okay. okay, in this moment, in this moment, I am thinking about it. Okay, I told you that I'm going to teach you two other ways to 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 talk about the future, right? But now, in this moment, I decide. I decide. I can. You know what? I will prepare. I will prepare That's okay. a, a, a presentation. Okay, and I will probably. Okay, and I will probably uh, show you a video. Okay, so then. Okay. The first one is the plan. Going, I'm going to teach you. The second is that I will prepare it's a decision that I'm going to that I take in this moment, right? And I will probably, I'm not really sure if I have time or if I have to, then I will show you a video about that. Okay? So okay. this is the ways that, that we use it. Okay. It's okay, Good. thanks. Thank you. Anybody else? Going to a plan that you already have. Hi. Yes, that is. Um, tomorrow, I will do exercise in the morning. Okay. Uh, then I go to a bank. Um, next, uh, I will cook to lunch for my family. Okay, good. <laughs> now, what happens if you say will for tomorrow, guys? Also, sometimes will can be used for, uh, let's say, uh, when you are very sure about something, right? Okay, but in this case, it's better if you say, "I'm going to, I'm going to do exercise, I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the bank, and I'm going to prepare lunch." Okay, 
So these are mm -hmm. that you things that you will do tomorrow, right? Okay. Okay. What else? What else? Anybody else? Aide? Hello, Aide. Okay. Um, I going to make the breakfast. I'm going to. I'll uh, make breakfast. Okay. Um, I going to take a shower. Okay. <laughs> um, and the, finally, I going to make exercise. Exercise, right? Okay, good. Now remember that this is um, well. Uh, using the future with will going to probably in English can be a little more a little more complex than in Spanish because in the Spanish what is the what do we use to express the future? Voy a. Maha. Most of the times we use voy a. Okay, it, and remember that boya sometimes in Spanish and also a little bit more, let's say no, a little bit more no, it's less formal too. Okay, because we usually say boya, boya, going to, going to, going to, all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we don't use ire, right? Okay, for example, uh, vendré. Traeré, right? We don't use those. those. Why not? We. Uh -huh, yes, we, we prefer to use we. Okay, <laughs> what else? Well, for example, why don't why don't we use those words in English, in Spanish? For that, let's say that uh, that future form. Mañana iré al mercado. Because I think it sounds it sounds very formal. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Anna? Why don't you use "iré"? Because that person not is most uh, common uh, to say "boy," mm -hmm. um, okay. but the conjugation of the verbs in Spanish no is um, polite or realized. Um, the conjugation was mm -hmm. there? Yes, the conjugation. More difficult. <laughs> uh, somehow, yes. But remember, that, but that's why sometimes, like you uh, sometimes, uh, iré, vendré, compraré, yes, it's like more yes. emphatic. It's more emphatic, right? Yes. Because sometimes when we say, for example, well, uh, me gané la lotería, right? I won the lottery. Me compraré un carro. Right? Yeah. You say me compraré is because I, I have the money and I want a car and then nothing can stop me in this moment, right? So, me compraré un car. And then you say, uh, we use for example, I will buy a car. Okay, this is for example, a level of certainty. Okay, when we are very sure about something, right? Suppose that if I tell you, you know what? Uh, well, next month, I will buy a house in Miami. How does that sound? And if, and if I say, I will buy a house in Miami someday. What is the difference in the two sentences? Next month, I will buy a house in Miami. The other sentence, I will buy a house in Miami someday. The, uh, I think the, the period of time that you are, that you are thinking to buy your house in Miami. In the first one, I am sure or I am not sure? You are sure because you, you say the next month. Yes. And in the second one you say, uh, probably, I, I, I can't remember, but I, I think you say uh, someday. Yes. When you say uh, someday, the first one sounds okay. I have the money. I have then, a dream. Uh -huh. The second one, this, yes, the second one is like a dream, right? It's yes. Like a dream. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to, I will buy a house in Miami someday. I am very sure about that dream. 
probably I will get it, probably won't. But in the first one, if I say I'm going to buy a house, plan in Miami, okay, the place, next month, the time. Okay, probably I already have the money, right? And I already have the plan. All I need is to go to Miami and buy it, okay? So you see, this is because we don't use it in, in, in Spanish, so it can be a little confusing. Probably you will be neighbor of Naive in Miami. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what that's, I'm going to ask him for some references. <laughs> that's great, Fernando. Very creative. Okay, guys. Okay, so we're going to stop here for today. Okay. And tomorrow, um, I will, we will continue with this. A study will go into and, 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 uh, Yes, skip. Okay, we're going to? And will. And will, yes. And tomorrow yeah. I'll bring the rest. And that's gonna be the talk for tomorrow, okay? So we're gonna have a lot of practice with will, going to, and the other two points, okay? Okay. okay. Have a good night okay. and see you tomorrow. Okay, okay? teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye see teacher. Tomorrow. Good bye. night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.